just when I thought um, at this time, at this very critical time, when war is raging all over the world, you know, and African youths from other African countries are waking up, are beginning to understand that it's time for them to be in charge of their life, their land, their communities, and their countries at large. Um, it is quite unfortunate that some of our Nigerian youths are very, 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 very far from this reality. They are still very far from this reality. As a matter of fact, some of them do not even understand what is going on in the world around them. But before I go into the details of this video, I just want to welcome you guys. If you're seeing this video or you're on my channel for the first time, welcome to Hood Updates. Um, on this channel, we give the critical truth about everything going on around our neighborhood. Um, when it comes to cultism or some of the atrocities going on around us, um, including in the universities and in the streets. So on this channel, you will hear the, the unfiltered truth about how everything truly happened. So you're on the right place to get all the updates you truly want to get. So without wasting much of our time, um, I'll go into this video, which is um, there's currently a clash in Benin City in a place called Upper Sakomba between members of the Man Fight and AA Confraternity. And the reason of this clash is actually something I don't understand what led to it, you know, because it's some, somehow not unexplainable. So I'll just go into what the details of what happened. So based on words on the street and the info that I got, they said about four or five days ago, a member of Man Fight gave his tools to a member of the Air Confraternity in Upper Sakomba Road. The reason why he gave his tools to the Air member was not clear enough, but from what I'm hearing from both sides, it seems like the Air member told the member of the Man Fight that they have clash with one of these confraternities and him and his squad they don't have enough to so they need the man fight to please lend him his tools and it happens to be a personal tools of this man fight member so a few days after the man fight member has lended his tools to the air man the air man refused to return it back so the thing led to the authorities of both fraternities you know they knew about what happened so it's like the the member of the man fight went to the leadership of the man fight where he is practicing you know and told them what happened so the man fight members reached out to the AM members and said see what had happened that they need to return these tools back so it seems like the AM members refused to return the tools so yesterday morning it was alleged that some members of man fight caught some members of AA and disarmed tools from them. You know, it was not the same tools that, were, uh, that was um, given to them by the Man Fight members. This is a complete tool, uh, entirely tools altogether that they collected from the AA member, but they did not drop him, so they let him go. So after this happened, it was said that the AA members in that area, they got angry and they started mobilizing and sending out information that they were going to hit the man fight members so this got the man fight members angry from what i was saying they said the fact that they did not retaliate and they did not get the same tools and the air members still have the guts to challenge them that way so they got angry i went into the street yesterday evening and brought down a member of the air confraternity in that same area so as i'm talking to you right now the court clash has just begun so if you're a member of any of these two confraternities or any other confraternities around there, you need to be very, very, very careful at this time, you know? I think with the ongoing class that has been going on in Benin City for a long time, I don't think it's even time for bloggers or anybody to announce to the youth they need to be careful because it's obvious our youths, they don't want to be wise. They don't want to, this is the time they need to come together, all these confraternities and form a coalition you know, form a strong army to defend their country, to defend their lands, to defend their communities, their states. But instead, they choose to kill themselves and it's rather unfortunate. So guys, this is the info I have for now. But as soon as uh, more information comes up, I'll update you guys. This is Hood Updates and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.